Quasi! Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Hayden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is a normal Naui. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Donegad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual, but my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladned? Are you not a Denegad as well? It is true, but my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. A missionary. Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad, even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malakor. I do not know this sickness, but perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern... With all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlands started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do, but I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He should be able to tell us more about these attacks. Yes? Do you need my help with something around the village? I just have a few questions, that's all. I understand. What can you tell me about your village? It is Wen Xavier, the village of living waters in our town. The wells and the rivers here flow with healing waters. All the island knows this. Our river banks are plentiful in plants, and the shores are full of shellfish that are used in healing potions. We are mostly fishermen and gatherers, we hunt little and have no warriors amongst us. Our village is a calm place in normal times. A place of peace. But since the coming of the Moinshakers... Could you tell me more about Katasak? 
The Tiern. He is the best healer on the island. A good and wise man. He is very concerned about the sick under his care. He gives them all his time and energy. Our village has always had the greatest healers. And my master is as good as any of the ancestors. I hope to be as good one day. I would like to hear more about the Tenlands. I'm in no better place to speak of these creatures. Before, I believed I understood them. But today, we simply took care to respect the place where they made their nests, so as not to disturb them. For like all of these creatures, they are part of the spirit of the island, a part of the balance. But all of a sudden, one day their numbers grew more and more, and they became angry and aggressive. The balance has been broken, but I do not know how. Tell me about the colonists. When did you meet them for the first time? Perhaps a dozen cycles ago. I had heard rumors, of course, before that. Some of the Eastern clans said that there were men coming from the sea who had made their home on their lands. They said that they built very tall houses and stole their children from them. I thought of it as nothing more than tales one tells by the fire of a night. Then one day, I saw them. They came into our village. They came with soldiers. They wanted to shake our minds, treated us as if we were children barely able to walk. I was told that they were not the same tribe as those found in the East, different as well from your people, but I see no difference. You are all Renaixe to our lands, and I do not trust any of you. I have to go. Excuse me. You have returned. Were you able to help my village in their troubles? Not yet. Then how can I help you? Tell me about the attacks on your village. They began a while ago. Suddenly, the Tenlands have grown in numbers and have become more aggressive. They started to attack those who went outside the village, especially at night. We had to become more prudent, but it wasn't enough to prevent some young people from disappearing. But you should go and ask the hunter. He knows the Tenlands' habits well. I need to leave. Very well. Be on your guard if you wander outside the village. Good day. Are you the Master Hunter? Beor tir to madre, I say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Dornay Gad Katasach spoke to me about the animal attacks. Could you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. 
What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures. Very calm. But who defend their young with fury? During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegad, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often. And they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nests that I found. But still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. Distress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who they are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one, or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy the nest come dawn. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaik say, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Tenlands, do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. I must be going. Katazak advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the Tenlands have built their nests. Bird dear to man. Here is your weapon. It is just like new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Ormanawi than Renaikse, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great Tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt 
that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here. To attract the others and make them rage. By men. The Renaik say. But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. Nothing more. I must be going. Good day. I have been sent here by your Donegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her, or to understand. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman, kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late, and the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want her heart? No. No, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think likely happened to her? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Moin Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But do you think that they might have captured her outside of the village? That merits inspection. I must leave now. Good day. My name is Desar Day from the Congregation. 
I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Donegad asked me to help you. Any information you can give me would be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared? Where and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry? He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. That could be a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. I must be leaving. Bird tear to mud. Why are you wearing the same clothes as a Renaxe? Do you have any news? Do you know where my sister is? Not yet, but I have not given up the search. Tell me about the Tenlands, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Well, I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest near there. It is possible, because before there was never one near there.
Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are Monasenaig. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman, the one who is also missing, yes, he was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. Your sister, by chance, was she fond of a young fisherman who also disappeared? They have known each other since they were little. Like all the children of the village, they have always been friends. Only friends? Yes. He defended her when the Mind Shakers wanted to take her. But she is promised to another. I couldn't care less about her reputation. An engagement can be broken. If you know anything at all. I have told you all I know. My sister is certainly wounded somewhere or taken by the Mind Shakers. Very well. Let's continue. I must leave now. Well, Onol Manawi, have you found my brother? Not yet, but I will find him. Could you tell me about the missionaries? The Moine Shakers. They came here to take us to a marvelous village. They said it was a perfect place where all is shining in light and where there is no danger. Their words seem to have been to your liking. A place full of peace is a dream. Here we must fight to survive since the Tenlands have grown angry. And now their stories of light are difficult to imagine. It seems like a beautiful place though. But my brother fought with them. They gave trouble to a young girl, one of his friends. He told me that these mind shakers were liars. That they were hurting the more innocent young. I don't really know what to think. If they took them, could you tell them to give them back? There is no fair trade for our children. The story about the fight compels me to at least go and ask them some questions. I must be leaving. Given the presence of Tenlands in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. Maybe a 
Dawn. The idea of the I must kill the dawn before the storm comes. Maybe in love you protect me in this battle. Protect me in this battle!
Good day. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this isle. Might I ask you a few questions? Of course. Our allies from the continent are always welcome among us. What do you want to know? Could you tell me what your mission here is? We must return these lost souls to the light and guide them so that they might receive the revelation. We have constructed the perfect village, Eden, where they might discover peace in this protected paradise. They can receive divine teachings and join the illuminated chosen people. Have you heard about the Tenlin attacks on the village? I didn't know those creatures were given that name, but yes, we have heard talk about the attacks. We offered them our help and some comfort in their most difficult hour. In exchange for some inspiring conversation, I suppose. Of course. These horrible beasts have most certainly been sent by the demons of this isle. To chase only a few away would be of no use. If they truly desire peace, they must see the light. You haven't been victim of these attacks. On occasion, yes. But thanks to the Illuminated, we were able to chase them away with little effort. You seem to assert that the attacks of these Tenlins is somehow linked to the demons on the Isle. Whereas these are creatures that the natives have always known. They nest beside them. These are familiar beasts, but hasn't anyone informed you that their patterns have changed? These creatures have been riled up by the demons of the island, who have come to realize we are near victory. Sending them against these poor people, they maintain them in a state of fear and obedience to their shaman healer. There is only one way to truly make these attacks cease, my child. Convert these people. Defeat these demons. The Donegad wishes your departure. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. The Donegad wishes your departure. You disturb the tranquility of their village. And you expect us to obey him? Haven't you understood that he is a servant of the island's demons? To leave would be to abandon the simplistic souls of all those that follow him, ceding victory to the demons. No, my child. We will not leave this place until the light shines over every dwelling. I must go. We are going to need to find some leverage if we want to force these missionaries to leave. Perhaps searching through their belongings will give us something we can use to put pressure on them. One more thing. Yes? I must go.
can these so-called religious men dare to abuse these young people? I thought that the word of the Enlightened was very clear on this subject. These missionaries are a disgrace to our order. Believe me, I'll make sure they cannot hurt anyone else. One more thing. Yes? I found a document in your belongings. The contents is quite enlightening. Your missionaries have forgotten the divine teachings. Are not all forms of abuse against your religious commitment? A few missionaries did stray from the path. This is true. But our mission is too vital to let their zealous natures dissuade us. You should have never read that. Maybe in one can protect me in this battle. May the shadow engulf our enemies! We lay down our weapons. Well, now leave the region and do not return. We shall not forget the manner in which you have treated us, but you shall not see us here again. This is one of the three nests that I need to destroy. the dominant before destroying the nest.
The hunter told me that I would find a nest in this area.
it would be better to come back later. It is dawn. The ideal moment. I must kill the dominant before the storm begins. <laughs> is destroyed. The Master Hunter will no doubt be relieved to hear it. <laughs> 